uh, this video uh, talks about the uh, ACR uh, characteristics and uh, its three uh, modes of operation so silicon control rectifier characteristics now it has uh, three uh, modes of operation uh, the reverse blocking mode forward blocking mode and forward conduction mode now from this uh, from this uh, three uh, modes of operation uh, that first two uh, modes are uh, the uh, state where SCR is turned off and in uh, the third state the in the forward conduction mode your SCR is in the uh, own state now let's discuss one by one now uh, after uh, discussing uh, the uh, these three modes so we will uh, obtain the uh, VI characteristics curves for the uh, silicon control rectifier now let's first discuss the uh, reverse uh, blocking mode now this is the uh, connection okay circuit connection uh, for the reverse blocking mode now in the SCR we know that it has uh, four uh, layers of the PN device so P and PN and P side uh, is given as a, a node and N side is connected and given as a, a cathode and whereas for from the another P is uh, taken as a gate terminal and in this uh, reverse mode uh, blocking mode your gate terminal is open so which means uh, no supply is given to that gate terminal only that cathode and anode are being connected or given the supply but while giving the supply anode is given with a negative supply with respect to uh, cathode and then cathode is given positive supply with respect to anode now in this kind of connection our circuit is in the reverse is in the reverse voice and then we also know that this has a uh, pin uh, i mean that scr has uh, three layers junction j1 j2 and j3 now if you trace the circuit connection from the source you will know that junction j1 and uh, j3 are in reverse voice and only junction j2 is in the forward forward bias and uh, now since our SCR is in the reverse bias, SCR does not conduct, okay, it's due to the, uh, okay, due to the reverse bias. And you will see that there is a small current, okay, you will see that there is a very small current flowing from cathode to anode okay which means you can see that there's a very small current flowing from cathode to anode let's say this one is okay okay actually it should be minus of i a k okay now uh, there's very small current flowing from your cathode to anode and uh, this one is uh, because of the uh, junction j2 okay this current is because of the junction j2 and that current is called the reverse leakage reverse leakage current and this kind of okay this mode of operation is called the reverse blocking mode now if you draw the curve okay if you draw the curve for this uh, reverse blocking mode okay in the uh, y-axis you have the uh, uh, positive forward uh, anode to cathode current and then below here it is negative of i a k v a k here and then at this side you have minus of v a k and then since we are talking about the uh, reverse bias since we are talking about the uh, reverse bias we should discuss at these two coordinates okay the th second and the third coordinate and uh, from the theory that we've discussed here 
we have seen that even it in the reverse uh, bias there's a small leakage current flowing through the uh, flowing uh, in the SCL even though when you keep on increasing the VAK so which means if you plot the curve between current and voltage it should be something like this and this between this magnitude is called the reverse leakage current and then when you keep on increasing the uh, uh, reverse voltage and there's a point called the VBR which we call it as a reverse breakdown voltage so when that uh, the supply voltage okay reverse uh, voltage crosses the, the reverse breakdown voltage then huge current is passing through the SCR okay huge current is uh, passing through the SCR now at the time of the uh, reverse uh, breakdown the high voltage is present and because of this high voltage again a uh, huge power dissipation okay is taking place now because of this huge power power dissipation your junction temperature okay junction temperatures are increasing so when this junction temperature increases it will damage the SCR okay now uh, this is one of the uh, precaution in the SCR that we should not increase our reverse voltage beyond this reverse breakdown voltage we should not which it says that we should not increase our negative VAK more than minus of vr or like vak should not be greater than it should not be greater than the reverse breakdown voltage and then another uh, preventive measures or the precautions that we should take care in the reverse blocking mode is there should not be any gate supply so if gate supply is given here let's check here if gate supply is given here again uh, now this junction j3 will be also followed by and now we have when gate supply is given your junction j3 is followed by again junction j2 is also uh, uh, followed by only junction j1 is reverse bias but our overall uh, circuit connection for the uh, that uh, in the reverse blocking mode is uh, it is in the reverse bias right your a node is given with a negative cathode is given with the positive so which means uh, our uh, SCR is already in the reverse bias but our two junctions are in the forward bias so this from the uh, gate signal uh, junction j3 becomes the forward bias so it will add the current of course gate signal will be a very small voltage so even though that small voltage it will uh, that current that forward current will try to add to the uh, leakage current okay so when that leakage current increases again uh, the same thing happen okay now like uh, huge current is passing through the junctions it increases the temperature and when temperature junction temperature increases it damage the uh, SCR so uh, that's all about the uh, reverse blocking mode and then in the next video I'm going to discuss about the, the second mode of operation the okay uh, forward uh, blocking mode and third one is forward conduction mode okay these two i'm going to uh, discuss in the next video so along with this uh, we will you will also understand that that the various methods to turn on scr we have different methods to turn on the scr so this one you will cover under the forward conduction mode. So that's it. Thank you.